Hey guys, Luxker here. Happy New Year, everybody. It's been a pretty great year all around for me, and yeah, it's been a lot, been a lot. We've been through these things and all that, and yeah, and now we're going into 2022 with an open mind, I guess you can say. But um, I just want to make a quick update video on what's going to be going on for this rest of the year, and uh, do stuff. T and talk about some other things. So, let me, let me go ahead and start off with the eShop card giveaway thing that I had on Twitter last week and, and pr pretty much the past couple months. First one actually was going to be used for myself during Black Friday, but I just didn't want to buy any more games because I, I'm not pro probably not going to be playing these games in the future, even though they were on my wish list. But, so I thought about getting those four cards that I bought for myself away, just in a Twitter giveaway. Lo and behold, it was very successful, and yeah, it prompted me to do another giveaway for the Christmas season, because I know that's when most people are getting a Switch and are going to be using stuff on the eShop, and that and there's also eShop sales as well. Um, but, but the whole point of these giveaways was not to gain followers, subscribers, or attention. But it was just there to give people joy when they find out that they ended up winning a prize, which I were pulled randomly from like 200 or so people that were done on these giveaways. But that being said, I'm not going to be doing any more eShop card giveaways in the future. And for a few reasons. One is that I feel like there wouldn't be a specific goal in mind to be able to do these other than just to gain more followers or subscribers on YouTube or Twitter. And, and I'll just be honest with you guys, I would rather just give away digital or physical content and not just eShop pins. It just makes much more logical sense with how my brand is. And I'm not one to just give away eShop cards on a whim just like every single month. I feel like that is more, if it, it's a it's little bit too much or a little bit off brand for what I want to do. So I just want to stay away from that. And even yeah, and even though it, it's everything seems to be perfect along the lines, there's still people who try to complain about not winning, which honestly I find really distasteful to those who actually won. Yeah. Anyways, um, for actual updates for the channel in 2022, my main goal for this channel is to diversify my content. I know I've been doing that last year with the reaction videos and like the video essays, which I mainly want to try to do and basically all kinds of things like gameplay footage um pretty much all those things but and i already have another video to, that i want to plan on doing in the distant future but i'm not going to say what that is per se wink wink you'll find that out probably maybe in a few more weeks or two maybe another month and also i'm not going to do any more full description Full direct reactions anymore. I'm just gonna post the game trailers that I find really excited that I found really exciting about. I, the main reason for that is like the Metroid Dread trailer got a lot of views on my channel, and the direct videos themselves just didn't really gain a lot of traction, anyways. And those videos took take a long time to edit, and I would rather just make an like an edited version of me reacting to a trailer that I've already excited about, I'm already excited about like Xenoblade 3 if whenever it comes out this year or just a trailer for it anyways but some other things I've been thinking about is I want to try to do a podcast or an interview um, I might want to get into streaming I don't really know yet because of the situation going on Twitch right now but uh, it's more likely going to be geared to the YouTube side of things and pretty much all for the purposes of diversifying my content and just seeing how they do with our viewership. And uh, I already have a video that I already thought up for the end of this year, which I'm not going to say what it is, but expect something in the future about when I'll, when I'll be uh, doing that. And mainly I want to reach out to more Xenoblade and Xeno creators around the scene. I need want to try to get into content creation with the Xenoblade franchise as you can see by my branding and all that stuff I just want to try to be more be get into the whole gist of it all and I don't know what I would do with that yet 
but I'm thinking of something on the lines of probably doing a podcast or like just streaming like the my playthroughs of Xenoblade if I can find the time to. But um, something special is going to be coming up pretty soon, or maybe a few couple months, and that's that I'm going to get my Adobe Premiere certification. As you probably already know from like my Twitter bio and stuff, I'm a video editor, and I've been using Adobe Premiere as my primary video editing source for almost over six year six years now, and I think it's finally time for me to actually become certified with Adobe Premiere and just video content in general with around Adobe products. And I want to use this knowledge of the software just to apply this to my skill set and just take my take it to the next level pretty much. And to get this uh, certification, I have to pay for like expensive an expensive test which is like $150 or something, something on the long lines and yeah, um, I, I do have practice material as well, which is also pretty expensive. But uh, I have to study the software for for like over 100 hours, which I pr probably have enough time to, as is anyway, in hopes of passing it and getting my Premiere certification. And I'm hoping to get this around late February, early March, ho hopefully around that time. But I'm just basically going to be getting the certification to improve my video and auto editing skills in hopes of becoming a freelance video or audio editor, which is my main goal of what I want to be doing with my myself and life in general. So I don't know if it has to do with anything on YouTube or like video production or film production in general, post-production, all that sort of thing, gobbledygook, but... I want to try to actually show show my skills to like big content creators and see if they want to hire me and stuff. But this won't change the output of my, the videos on my channel. I will still do content here, but it's gonna be mu a little bit less now be, before because I'm preparing for the test. Even though I have a video already thought out it for this the, this next month. But to put it simply, I just want to work with people to help with their YouTube or film crews production, which will just benefit myself and other careers at the same time. But this channel will be on the side, and I'll just keep making content for it. But the most important thing I want to take away from this is that YouTube will just never be my job. I just like making this channel for a hobby, just to show off my skill set to people and what I can accomplish, which I feel like from some people. I, I think I accomplished that pretty well. For miscellaneous things this year, expect more long hair Melia as well. <laughs> it kind of sort of made in my brand at this point, if you can really tell from my Twitter account and all the weird little memes I do on there. <laughs> but the next segment, I think you already know who these people are, but I want to shout out Annie and Izzy for helping me just, well, create my brand pretty much of long hair Melia. They do fantastic work, and I hope to work with more people in the future with other projects, or just to make more good Meliar in general. So give them a follow on Twitter. They are just really good, honestly. And I want to thank the Good Vibes Gaming community for being such an awesome part of my of pretty much my whole last year. But um, in case you didn't know, I sometimes like to chat on their live audience Patreon and just be kind of a little quirky and stuff in there it, and just have a lot of fun with it as well. They're a really fun community. Everybody's really nice in there. I think you'll, you guys, if you watch my content or just watch similar content in general, they're just a great place to be in and they'll just have a fun time. And we talk a lot about gaming, all kinds of things in there. But they've been they've been such a great community in general last year. So I'm gonna be posting their Patreon below in the description so you guys can see check out what they are and and uh, hopefully try just get helping them achieve their goal. I mean they have a lot of tiers as well. They're I, I don't know if they're like patreon funded even though they say they are I I feel like they get some revenue from sponsorships and uh, or outside sponsorships or just YouTube ads in general ad revenue 
I just want to thank all my subscribers for sticking with me and to those who watch my videos throughout the past year. Two weeks ago, I reached a thousand total views on my YouTube videos, which I very much like. And I want to try and make it a goal to reach 100 subscribers by the end of this year. And I know it might be daunting at first, but I want to try to reach that as best as I can. I, I just want to make this channel grow a little bit in general, even though I'm not going to be do, using this as my main job at this point. Anyways, I've been here long enough. 11 minutes seems like a pretty long time. So, until then, guys, see you on the other side! Also, fuck NFTs!